Well, hello there, Aquarius. It looks like you're about to move forward in a direction where the old rules don't apply. And actually, not only can you make the new rules, you could not have any at all. Let's dig in to see where this goes. Hello, everyone. Welcome in. This is an Aquarius tarot reading. It's a general reading, usually between two energies. Whoops. Let's dig in to see what sort of theme we have for you today. If you are interested in the extended to this video or in personal readings, there's links to both in the description box below. Let's get into it. Our Wicked Ways. This one hasn't coming up in a while. Number 19, that reduces all the way back down to a one. Closing out something tough. Tough, tough, tough. Oh, nice. Alice, as in Wonderland, number 12 reduces to a three. Okay, energy is stabilizing in a new cycle. I like how this feels. Okay, I love how this feels. I'm going to read you her wicked ways because we haven't had her in a long time. It says, you are meant to shine bright, to be a sun, even in the cold and dark depths of winter, bringing warmth to the world. Some don't like the light. They want to freeze your enthusiasm, douse your creative fire, and rain on your parade. Don't let them. Shine your light with stubbornness and happiness. Defeat the Snow Queen and her wicked ways. I'll read Alice real quick because it's a short one. It says, new worlds are calling you forth where the old rules don't apply. It may seem strange or freeing or wild or even scary at first, but you are meant to explore these new worlds. You will gain so much from the experience. There's no need to be afraid. I'm getting for someone specific. This is quite a literal meaning when it comes to, say, career. Like if you've always worked for someone else. And you may have wondered why each experience at each job just gets stagnant and worse until you get the new new job, then it's fresh for a while, but it always ends up feeling the same way. It feels like someone going from the nine to five lifestyle to entrepreneurship, like heavy leaning into creativity. Someone's doing a 180 flip with their life. And that's really where they're supposed to be. Okay, that's really, the old rules don't apply, babe. We got new stuff to do. Okay, let me go this way. Okay, show me what's going on with Aquarius, please. Show me what's going on with Aquarius, please. Show me what's going on with Aquarius. Okay. Told you your energy stabilizing. Four of Wands underneath. That is the fool. The risk to take on something so new. Six of Cups, Two of Cups. Ah, Two of Wands. Six of Swords. Ten of Pentacles. Stabilization. Seven of Pentacles. I'm reading this is you. This is them. This is the situation. Taking this new route. This uncharted territory will actually lead to multiple blessings gained at once. I'm reading this is you, this is them, this is the situation, the overall situation being the ultimate risk. But you've gotten to a point in life where taking risks is not a scary thing to you anymore. It just registers in your mind, okay, this is a risk. Do I want it? Do I not? I'm going to take it. Okay, go. You, fear doesn't stop you anymore, like at all. <laughs> You've had to have been through some stuff in life where you just kind of look at fear and go, yeah, whatever. Okay, I'm going to do this. <laughs> Personally, I'm proud of you. That's awesome. Okay. Big on the soul bond energy. Okay. Interesting. Six, six, two, and two. Interesting. Eight and eight. Um, you're going to be more established. Got it. If this is an entrepreneur thing, you're actually going to be more established than you realized by the, in that endeavor, by the time you meet this person, this person is also nurturing goals, but it seems like you're a little further in a different way is how it's coming across. So maybe they still work for someone else and have goals that they're achieving that way. Okay. Okay. 
Show me the details of the fool, please. Four of Wands, Page of Swords, Nine of Pentacles, Nine of Swords, Eight of Cups. Hmm. Okay. Got it. So you, okay. The more your energy stabilizes, the more you see them clearly. Okay. You may pursue them. Okay. You may pursue them um, first or outright. Okay. Mm -hmm. Either that or if they come towards you first, you move things quickly because you're like decided. You're completely decided. Like, yep, this one. Okay, forward, let's go. Okay, nice. Decisive is nice. Show me the Six of Cups for Aquarius, please. Ten of Swords. Queen of Swords. Three of Cups. Ace of Pentacles. Scorpio energy underneath with the King of Cups. Got it. So you see, yeah, you see them so clearly. Um, and you, as time goes by, it's like you realize like this is like the real deal. This is the, that person who can be <clears throat> someone where there's also a friendship that exists between you, which is beautiful. But there's something here where you pick up, Aquarius, that you don't have to be in your air all the time. You can allow yourself to rest into your water, into your heart space with this person. You know this is the real deal. This is the thing, okay? That you don't have to remain in air the whole time. That it's okay to feel. That's beautiful. Show me the two of wands, please, for Aquarius. Three of pentacles, three of wands, six of pentacles. There you are, King of Swords, Aquarian Energy. Eight of Wands underneath. Okay. This is like the say yes to a date. What are they going to do? It's very generous. Very, very generous. It's almost like you don't expect them to be, so it's really a lovely surprise when they are. Like an additional gift. In terms of a trait, what a positive trait in that person. Show me the Ten of Pentacles, please. For Aquarius, show me. Nine of Pentacles. Whatever your Ten of Pentacles is that you're working on, chiseling away at, if it is quite literally you changing into an entrepreneurship lifestyle, Scorpio energy there with the tower, there's a point of where you're doing something that you truly love doing that you truly love doing, and that is a catalyst for long-term change because you're showing the universe you are living in purpose, on purpose, okay? So tower and judgment, it's like it's going to feel like it takes a long time to get to Ten of Pentacles, but there's going to be that point, that threshold that you cross doing this thing that's going to communicate to you. You're just going to know that this is the correct path that it's also going to support you in life as you continue to move forward. Even if you don't hit like any kind of immediate jackpot or anything like that, there's going to be a point of realization where the universe is communicating to you. You are on the right track. You are on path. This is what you're supposed to be doing. This is good for you. Okay. Always nice to get a sign or a signal once in a while. Okay, let's get into the two of cups. Two of cups, please, for this person. Seven of pentacles again. Ace of wands. Emperor, card of Aries, king of coins. This person has partnership on the brain. Aries, Taurus, energy. They don't want to be single. They don't want to be single. They want their person. There you are, right next to a wish come true. Wondering where the heck you are. 
<laughs> Show me the Six of Swords, please. Six of Cups again. You again, Aquarius Energy. Nine of Cups. Wish come true again. Ten of Cups. Mm hmm. There's, there's the Fool again, too. Nine of Cups, Ten of Cups. Okay. Wanting to move forward to that soul bonded connection. Okay. Wish come true, long term happiness with another person. They've been waiting to, they've been waiting for this fool. They've been waiting for this fool, two of cups, right there. Waiting, watching, waiting, watching, waiting, watching. And you come in in the form of a three of cups. So I don't know if you have overlapping friend circles, if family introduces you, coworkers, something. Okay. But you cross paths as you are building, as you are stabilizing in your four of wands. So you could be literally moving into a new place. Okay. You could be getting an office for your new business. Show me the seven of pentacles, please. Devil card of Capricorn. Queen of swords. Queen of wands. Oh, they like that you balance your air and your fire. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Um, something about your comebacks are solid. <laughs> like in how you argue, your comebacks just sing. <laughs> okay, so they don't want to be singing. What do they say to Aquarius? It's it's almost like hey let's go out for a drink. They fret over that for a while, Scorpio energy. They fret over that for a while. Like would Aquarius even say yes to? I don't know. Would they? I don't know. And by the time they figure it out, or at least decide to take the risk, no matter what, their feelings have grown even more. They know you. They know you are long term partner potential. Okay, King of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles. World is fixed energy, Taurus, though, Scorpio, Aquarius. What is Aquarius's first impression of this person? Kind of quiet, reserved. So you pick up on their anxiety. Virgo energy. <laughs> <laughs> so you see them clearly you pick up on the two of cups part um but you also pick up on the anxiety around this whole thing okay got it you also know that in some whatever time whether it's by initiation of competition of other people or someone lets the cat out of the bag Confusion, the clear the air is going to happen with any confusion to set the record straight. Okay. Anything else about the three of cups? The more you stabilize your energy, the more gung-ho you are about taking this risk. Leo energy. You are so ready. The whole homeownership thing is kind of coming up again. Like it, whether you're get, moving into a new place or getting a new office for your own business kind of thing. New real estate keeps coming up. Keeps coming up. For someone, it's quite literally their dream house. Property. Because you're like victory dancing about having achieved or acquired this. Okay. Okay. I'm going to head over to the extended. I'm going to see what's going on in this person's energy. See what's going on with them in their current energy, near future, and the final outcome of the connection between you two in this lifetime. So if you are interested in any of that information, along with messages from spirit about the connection at this point in time, messages between you, as well as timing, feel free to follow me by clicking the link in the description box below. And I'll see you guys over there.
Bye.